Okay, today on Cabal Cast, we're going to be back in Command and Conquer 3 King's Wrath, and we're, I'm, I'm going to finally finish up the Steel Talon Showdown series between Charles Remonk and Dune Tiger. So before I get into this game, you guys are probably wondering, well, what is that picture that you just saw before you came into this screen right here? Well, I'm going to tell you that uh, Edmonton is going to be making an eSports uh, professional team for Overwatch. And what I'd like you guys to do, if you guys have a Twitter account, if you guys have uh, Twitch, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, that sort of thing. I'll provide I'll provide some links down below. I want you guys to go down uh, to the links and uh, like um, and, and like it because this will give me the opportunity, hopefully, to be a semi-professional Overwatch player. And this is one of my lo lifelong dreams to become a professional gamer. So if you so if you guys can just click the links down in the description, and uh, I would really really appreciate it if you guys did that. It'll help me out a lot because I really want to be a professional gamer someday. And I did get into contact with the with the manager of that team, and he said that well, we are going to be holding tryouts, and if you make it, you make it. So I would really appreciate if you guys click the links and uh, follow every follow the Edmonton Esports team, uh, please and thank you. So let's get into this game right here. Steel Towns time. Up in the uh, top left here, we see or the top right, we see. I didn't show the colors again. This is Dune Tiger. He's playing as the Orange Steel Talons, and down on the bottom left. We see Charles Romonk playing as his Yellow Steel Towns. So we're on Small Town USA. Apparently these are the better, the ne this game and the next game, uh, so it's supposed to be the better uh, Steel Towns games that these two guys played. So Charles is going to go for a Combat Engineer, two Combat Engineers. He placed his uh, barracks in a very weird position. Usually players will place the barracks right here. And what the hell are you doing, Dune Tiger? You're going for a crane first. So anyway, like I was saying, yeah, mostly players will place their barracks right here because then you can get uh, the tips placed a lot faster than when you pl place it back there. Just a little bit of a tip. Not sure if Charles knows that. But what is uh, Dune Tiger doing? Is he going to go straight for two refineries? And maybe a, t a couple of power plants after that? This will be actually pretty interesting. This is like a classic uh, old school uh, way of doing the Steel Talents build. I remember back in the patch in the patch 1.01 days where this was still viable as Steel Talents. But nobody does it anymore because patch 1.02 made it so that the crane built it uh, a lot slower and you can't um, go for any uh, defensive structures like that. But he met, but he sold the crane. Looks like he wanted, he just wanted to get the refineries out faster, which is very, which is, um, which is okay. I guess it'll give him a lot more economy, but this allowed Charles Romonk to gain an insane amount of vision in the center half of the map. He also captured his two tip spikes, but at the same time, Dune Tiger went for two refineries straight away. And uh, Dune Tiger is going to be placing his barracks um, on one side of the map. Looks like, is he going to go for two refinery? Nope, he's just going to go for one. Why wouldn't you go for two? Because you have two tip spikes, which is easily accessible to your base. And you just decided to go for one uh, barracks. I don't know why you did that, uh, Dune Tiger. But okay, that's what you did, buddy. Three and two in this field for uh, Charles, uh, for uh, Dune Tiger. And three and two for Charles on the bottom side of the map. He is a little bit stolen on cash, but the, the two tip spikes will give him 20 credits a second. And this will be... Um, very, very good for Charles. He's just getting up his fourth harvester right now. The Dune Tiger is getting his fourth harvester right now. He replaced his construction yard. He placed another barracks. So that's a little bit of a waste of time because you when you want to get to the green tip iron field as fast as possible to get more economy going. But the Dune Tiger decided to unpack his MCV and built another uh, barracks and sell it. to capture both of the tip spikes. So now he got, has both the tip spikes right now. And he's going to be going to the uh, top, to the top left map. Uh, part of the map here to get the blue tip. Are we going to be seeing some base wars? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh yeah, we're probably going to see some base wars. Oh, I'm, I love this. I love watching base wars. I'm, I personally, I'm actually not too bad of a base war player, but at the same time, I don't like to play it because it's just so hard sometimes. So we're going to be seeing a barracks placed down first by uh, Dune Tiger. Like, like he does see, or maybe he does see that uh, Charles is going to go for the top half of the map too. So the Titan coming out now from Charles, two Titans coming from Charles, and uh, it's going to be full on uh, rocket infantry spam here, but at the same time, there's the barracks, or there's the uh, watchtower, and it's just going to be focusing down the uh, missile squads, no problems there. So this is not too good for Dune Tiger. He's going to be, oh no, there's a power, the power is low. He's a power micro right now, he does, and selling off the barracks because he can't support that. Dune Tiger is going to have to get the hell out of there because he knows he can go against against Titans with a war factory right there. So that was basically a fail push there by uh, Dune Tiger. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but at the same time here we see a Titan coming in for a Dune Tiger just to protect anything that uh, Charles might go might do. And he, he was actually going to go for the construction yard, and he would have destroyed it for sure if it was still unpacked. So he's going to uh, keep it um, keep it deployed, 
And he, if I were to him right now, I would go for Orcas, and I think that's what exactly what he's going to do because Steel Talons in this in this situation without the um, Slingers aren't good, aren't good against uh, Orcas. Even the Pit Bulls aren't good against Orcas in this, this part of the game. But what is Dutegger going to do? He's going to go for uh, an airfield, and he's going to sell his construction air, maybe? No, I don't think he's going to sell it, because he probably definitely needs it. And we see something yellow here. Oh, it's a Titan! A Titan has snuck into the back of the base here by uh, Charles Wilmonk, and he's trying to do a Harvester Crush. But uh, Dune Tiger sees it a mile away. So yeah, that Titan's going to go down. He didn't lose any Harvesters in the process, which is very, very close as well. So uh, the Harvester needs to get back to work, though. And this is going to be causing uh, Dune Tiger to go for more barracks and rocket infantry as well. He's going to be putting the infantry in the garrison structure as well. But, and the barracks are just spread out quite a bit so that he can get more rocket squads here. And then Pipples coming out enough from uh, Dune Tiger, or for Charles. And Charles has placed two or factories at the uh, second expansion, which is a bit of an overkill. Uh, maybe, he's, yeah, he sold the one at the, at the uh, main base, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dune Tiger's gonna go for two airfields, so two airfields with orcas on them. And uh, the uh, construction are still under attack now. Dune Tiger is gonna be out of Tiberium in a couple of seconds. He probably could have gone to the bottom half of the map, but it would've taken him a long time. Not to mention the fact that Charles Orlock was on his tail with his t own Titans. So Charles is gonna go for straight up pit bulls now because he knows there's orcas on the field. And I'm not sure where those orcas are, are. They're still on the deck, so he could go for some harvester harassment. There's four juicy harvesters here, and they could easily easily die. Uh, Charles is still going for pit bulls in his base. The orcas are going to be under attack now. Dutegger loses two of his orcas. He loses three orcas, four orcas. And yeah, he lost four orcas to, like, what, six or seven pit bulls? So that's a very good trade off there by Charles. He loses another orca. So these orcas aren't, uh, aren't cheap, they're very expensive units. And another rocket will go down, destroy that last pit bull. So Dune Tiger is going to be out of Tiberium. He sold his MCV. Oh no, sorry, that was just a barracks. I could have sworn I saw the MCV, but that was just a uh, soft of the barracks. The MCV is on the move. It's going down on the south, and we see that a single harvester here from uh, Charles Ormonk is going to grab to that the green tip. Looks like he just uh, missed Rally there. Uh, we see some bloodhounds going in. Coming in from uh, Dune Tiger, looks like you just want to defend off as many harvesters as possibly can. The harvesters shouldn't be going to this Tiberian field at all from Dune Tiger. They should be going down south because they need some more economy. Uh, Dune Tiger is uh, low on cash. He spent uh, three thousand bucks on those uh, on those bloodhounds, and realistically, he could have poured, he could have could have put those three thousand dollars toward the orcas because the orcas are a lot better than bloodhounds, which is only two pitbulls and two wolverines. So against Titans, that's not going to really do anything. So he could have spent that money on uh, orcas but that was the decision does he upgrade on it no i thought i saw hard points but uh, oh no that mcv is under attack now dude tiger not paying attention oh boy he took a lot of unnecessary damage there and it looks like dude tiger may lose his construction yard that's not going to be good another pit bull is coming in as well so dune tiger is going to lose his mcv and he just placed on a barracks at the last second uh dune tiger buddy what happened what happened and does it War Factory? No, he does not. He sold them, sold them off. He's just going to be going for straight up airfield. And the Orcas are going to be coming in now, and they're going to be going for some Harvesters. Uh, Dune Tiger doesn't have a whole lot of air defenses here. Barely any to speak of, actually. And he's going to go straight for the uh, Harvester. He, he doesn't have eight Orcas, unfortunately. So he's going to have to use uh, very... Yeah, he's he's wasting uh, rockets right now. He's going for overkill here, but I guess that's what he did. So he lost... So Charles lost three Harvesters. And... Um, yeah, a couple Titans here from uh, Dune Tiger. Oh, no, those are Charles. Are those Charles? Yep, they're still Charles because they're yellow. And a little bit of doing the, the funky chicken, actually. The Titan's doing the funky chicken. That's pretty cool. A little bit of a glitch there. Did crush a Harvester, and I think that's it. Yeah, Dune Tiger has a sell-off because he lost all of his orchestra. Those pit bulls. GG. So I think the score is uh, best of 11. So it's five. So it's 6-2, to two, I think. 6-2? to two? Oh, I can't be right. Ah, I'm terrible at math. Whatever. So eight minute game, not too bad. Unit scraft, it was the unit scraft. There was there, there was the structures tab, there was a the resources, Charles had the most of course. Stats fifty-two thousand nine hundred and eight to Charles and forty-nine thousand six hundred and sixty-six to Charles. Okay, so yeah, there's your game on uh Spotton USA. Uh, my name is Cabal. Please remember to uh click the links down below and share and like and subscribe to uh Edmonton Esports, and I'll see you guys the next time.